Chuck and I um, are going to talk to you today about the ISO uh, working group, which is a working group within the Inner Source Commons devoted to creating shared resources for people to work on Inner Source at the um, enterprise uh, level. Next slide. Uh, ISPO is an acronym. It stands for Inner Source Programs Office. We define it as persons working on improving the internal code collaboration experience at full organizational scale. Next slide. It is pretty rare for there to be a team called the ISPO, though. Often, the people doing inner source related work in the company are on a team with a larger scope of responsibilities, and inner source is just one aspect of that scope. Uh, they might be in a team called the OSPO, or the Open Source Programs Office, or part of a centralized engineering team, or a platforms team, or developer experience team. They could also be a single person working uh, under the, uh, under the um, uh, head of engineering, or part of a engineering community of practice. When we say ISPO, what we really mean is anyone on any of those teams concerned with internal code collaboration at a company scale. So if that sounds like you, then you are especially who we're trying to reach today with this presentation and our working group. Um, this working group focuses on a subset of the larger inner source common scope. We focus on guidance for the teams that run and support inner source across the enterprise or agency, rather than guidance at the project level or the um, uh, level of contributors and maintainers. For example, in inner source comments patterns, there's guidance how to be a good maintainer, guidance how to set up your project for, for inner source. While those are all important areas, they're outside the scope of the working group. Instead, the working group focuses on elements that are specific to those centralized teams driving inner source at a company wide scale. Our goal for this talk is to help you learn about the ISPO working group and how it might benefit you. In addition to the content in this talk, you can check out similar information in the contributing.md file on ISFO Working Group repository. Uh, we will put it in the meeting chat. If you want to look at things during the talk, that's a great place to start. Um, so, 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 so uh, I should, 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 should be uh, dropping in the chat soon if you want to check it out there. Next slide. Why participate? Well, We've structured the working group such that by participating in the working group, you can increase the speed and impact of your interest programs office. The model the working group follows to do that is uh, we create shared products, guidance documents, methodology descriptions, et cetera, uh, based on the shared challenges that we have. And then the, 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 those then get uh, peer reviewed as part of the, uh, the um, the ISFO working group and all the internet source experts that we have in that working group. And then the final products get um, published and then like um, um, be used internally by yourself and by others. This improves the quality of work and enables us to move faster uh, that, than if we each did that work individually. Next slide. So, uh, Here's some examples of challenges uh, we, we have worked on within this Spo working group. So scaling the inner source mind map, um, uh, inner source metrics, and guidance on source code management. These are all challenges where many people in the work group had tried different things. Uh, they had uh, different uh, lessons to learn. I mean, sorry, lessons to share. Um, and, and where people wa wanted to learn from the experience of others uh, who had tried other approaches at their own company. So to get into some of those individually, next slide. Uh, a common challenge for new ISPOs is how to scale inner source, inner source across the organization. To help with this, we're creating a mind map that will help you navigate the challenges and opportunities of scaling inner source. So, um, uh, um, on the slide here, we have uh, a screenshot of the um, my map, which is a um, um, a um, a um, interactive uh, web page. And so, um, as you click on each of those dots, um, 
m m more things um, will appear and uh, um, direct you to different um, um, different um, resources and guidance to help you figure out how to scale InterSource at your organization. Next slide. One area I have contributed to it is in defining guidance for source code management or SCM. SCM refers to how you set up or configure a version control platform like GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket, et cetera. Uh, there's lots of decisions to be made in how these platforms are configured and different needs have to be balanced. Uh, shown on the slide is a screenshot of one part of our in-progress guidance document. It discusses how to balance the needs of security and collaboration. Uh, these needs can sometimes conflict, resulting in disagreements. And in a worst case scenario, a single security event can result in a sudden lockdown across the enterprise that kills off collaboration. By making a uh, guide from different perspectives and experiences, you're able to provide an improved framework for how to make good configuration choices and version control platforms that, that balance various needs like security versus collaboration. Uh, next slide. So, um, so what did I get from this experience? Um, the source code management challenge is one area we have personally participated in creating ISO working group content. Um, and there are several reasons why I took part in this challenge area. First, to get more value from hard won lessons by sharing them with others. Uh, second, I wanted to confirm um, that my opinion on certain things is aligned with experience of others who have struggled uh, with this at their own company. Uh, third, I wanted my, my perspective to exist in external resources. So I can later refer to those external um, uh, external resources um, when I'm talking to people in my own company rather than just sharing an email with my personal opinion. Sharing a, a link to an inner source commons product is much more persuasive. And then fourth, um, uh, participating in this uh, minor um, uh, grows my my network over time and provides me opportunities to um, uh, to sense check other ideas I might have in the future. Next slide. Um, and at this point, I'll hand over to Jeff. Thank you, Justin. Can everyone hear me fine? I hope so. Uh, if not, let me know. Uh, good good afternoon. I'm really a morning actually for most people here. So uh, good to see you. Um, as previously shared we build an inner source metrics graph. So you can see that on the screen there. As ISPO leaders, we're often asked to articulate the value of inner source to our stakeholders using the inner source metrics graph, we can achieve this goal. For example, we may want to find valuable projects by identifying who contributes to them. The code contributions metric helps us with this goal and helps answer our question. By navigating and contributing to the goals, questions, and metrics, we can demonstrate the value of our inner source projects. Next slide, please. Through my involvement in the metrics project, I didn't just gather data, I built a network. I connected with professionals who, like me, were navigating the wor world of inner source metrics. As I contributed to this project, my professional network grew. As a result of these efforts, I'm connected to great like-minded professionals ready to expand the value of the inner source commons. Looking ahead, this experience isn't a one-time benefit. As my, as my company continues expanding inner source project management, we'll stay steps ahead with the help of the ISPO working group. Next slide, please. So how do we operate? Through conversations, ideation, and sharing of challenges, we work together to build peer-reviewed content fit for your organizations. We value progress over perfection and encourage you to share your challenges and solutions with us. Next slide, please. So when do we collaborate? We host bi-weekly meetings, converse on Slack, and work together on GitHub through discussion forums and projects themselves. Next slide, please. All the work within our group undergoes, undergoes a peer review as it progresses through the Kanban board, Kanban board. We align our work with the goals and objectives of our companies while also contributing to the InterSource Commons. We contribute to the Managing InterSource Projects book 
Gitbook, Intersource Patterns, and other projects relevant to leaders of ISPOs, OSPOs, and the like. Next slide, please. We invite you to align your company backlog with our working group. We can produce content at a lower cost and get feedback from deeply experienced people within the Intersource Commons. Are you challenging? Are you facing a challenge? If you're facing a challenge, join our working group and we'll work together and build something great together. Next. So I would like you to I ask this call to action. Please attend the ISPO working group meeting on December 2nd and come get involved with us. Uh, you will find a lot of value from our group and I appreciate your attendance. Oh, one back, please. There you go. Thank you. Uh, we already know the benefits of open source. Our inner source working group provides the same benefits, collaboration opportunities, code reuse, knowledge sharing through the community, and more. Okay, and so closing up here, the inner source program office working group is an opportunity for those involved in enterprise level software development whether you're a member of an ISPO, OSPO, platform engineering team, or other centralized groups, you'll find benefits. Our group provides a wealth of shared experience, enhancing your organization's inner source capabilities. As we wrap up with questions, join us at the inner source program office working group by navigating to the first link or scanning the QR code to join our Slack group. So in the, the track and the chat, we have links there. So feel free to join at your leisure. Thank you very much.